Hi, I'm Scott Noonan, CEO of Audio Advice. Today we're actually outside. It's beautiful spring weather just opening up. It's the time of year that everyone starts thinking about sitting outside, outdoor speakers, outdoor televisions. How are you going to entertain outside going through the spring and the summer and the fall? And so what I want to do is just walk you around and show you a little bit in terms of what are the options for outdoor music. One of the options for outdoor music is to use Bluetooth speakers and we've got a whole host of them on our website including a full video and review on the top Bluetooth speakers for taking outside and using on the go. But today's is focused on fixed speakers that you would install behind your home or somewhere great like an outdoor space like this. So let's just walk around a little bit and look at the different options. The first one I want to talk to you about are traditional in-ceiling speakers that you would see inside a home, but they make marine versions that go on porches, no problem year round. And it's a great thing to do on smaller mid-sized porches. You just put them in, you can do white or black most of the time. We do lots of those here at Audio Advice. So when we move from the round speakers or square speakers that would be up in the ceiling, we'll also look at box speakers. So come over here with me. If you take a look on this back porch, you'll see examples up in the top corners of box speakers that are placed horizontally. There's one up in the top right here and one in the top left over there on this porch. And you'll also see examples of these. There's lots of different ones that come out every year. At Audio Advice, we go through figure out which ones handle the best, which ones got the best warranties and the best price performance, and we bring them. So if you either call us or come into one of the stores or check out us on audioadvice.com, you'll see the ones that we're carrying that are best for that particular season. Now let's move from these to talk about two other types of speakers that go outside. One is planter speakers, although there tend to be less of those now, and that's where you put a plant into the speaker itself and it sits outside and you run the cables out to the planter and then rock speakers. So let's, let's jump over and take a look at some rock speakers. Okay, so we're sitting actually in a driveway in a basketball area now, and this is a typical example of a rock speaker. And you can see if someone's not really paying attention, you just walk by, wouldn't even notice it. But you can see here where there's a grill on the front, the speaker's hidden behind it. These run on regular, 8 ohm speaker cable, although you need to use outdoor speaker cable to get to them. So essentially you drill a hole, comes out of the house, and you can go, we've got a left-right speaker in this location here. You can run these off a typical multi-channel amp, so if you've got like a Sonos system in your house, you can use a Sonos amp to power a pair of rock speakers, and maybe you could do a pair in a driveway like this or somewhere in the back as well. Okay, so now let's say you've got a large backyard area that you want to cover, it doesn't make a lot of sense to put two rock speakers or two outdoor speakers uh, in one location because the area is so big that if people are trying to enjoy uh, maybe a party or something else outdoors, it's going to be really loud with the people next to the speakers and not loud, um, you know, farther away from the speakers. Yes, you could put six, eight different pairs in there, but there's a better way to do it. A handful of years ago, people came up with a great idea to hide speakers in the landscape that look like landscape lights, and that's become the high-performance way of doing it. Audio Advice installs these pretty much all spring, summer, and fall as people decide to add these things into their homes. You'll see as we walk along, in this particular case, they're hidden in lots of different locations. You can see one that's on the ground there. This one's actually hidden in a bush, and we can only see it now because this has been recently trimmed. 30 days from now, you won't be able to see that speaker. The bush will fully cover it and it'll be hidden in there. And we keep walking along, you can see another one here. But what these satellites do is you have a pair of cables that come out and they sort of daisy chain from one speaker to the next. They generally run on what's called a 70 volt system. A 70 volt system allows you to run longer distances than you could for a traditional 8 ohm system, which you'd find with rock speakers or with planter speakers. And you can even add, as an example, if you look in here, there's lots of ways to do this, but this is actually a subwoofer hidden in the ground here. And it connects on the same wiring system as the satellite speakers and allows you to get sort of concert level sound in the back. Again, if you sort of follow me along here, you'll see different ones hidden hidden uh, in different locations, but they look simply just like landscape lights. And this system that you're actually looking at right here has been here for a long, long time. And we'll take a shot of one that we just shot recently that was just put in uh, that's also another beautiful landscape uh, system. But you can see all the, it goes all the way across. You can add and subtract from a system like this and use 170 volt amp to handle all of them. But it does provide high performance uh, music. You can connect it to lots of different sources, whether it's a Sonos uh, system or any other type of multi-room uh, system. 
So that's generally an overview of outdoor speakers. If you've got any questions about any of this, jump over to audioadvice.com, chat with us or give us a call, tell us what your situation is. Or if you live in North Carolina and you want someone to install it and really do this right for you, swing by one of our award-winning showrooms in Charlotte or Raleigh and we'd be happy to help you out. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to get more great content on home audio, home theater, or anything else audio and video related. Thanks for watching. Thank you.